Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, welcome to another training game video. Uh, yesterday I played one okay game and one pretty bad game. Drew 1-1-1, one, 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 but I could have ran into trouble in the game I, I had won as well. But I, I still think I outplayed my opponent, although there was, I, I hope you saw it, one tactical point where I calculated for four minutes and basically overlooked the simplest refutation of my idea and saw it a second before I played the move. So I was going to sacrifice my piece with the discovered attack, but he can just take it because he has two defenders. So yeah, uh, but I, I saw it in the end. I don't know why I missed things like that. I mean, in a tournament game, hopefully I'd see it. I wouldn't miss something like that. Also, okay. Uh, I, I will stop talking about the previous game now and concentrate on this one. This is going to be either a King's Indian attack or a Catalan type position if I allow it. But I think I'm going to play... Okay, so there are two setups I could go for. Bishop f5 here uh, with h6, e6, or c5, knight, c6. But usually I like blunting this bishop because white usually plays c4. And yeah, okay, so e6. He can take my bishop if he wants to. Now, I don't mind. Okay, he wants to play e4. Uh, I will play h6 now that I have the time. He castles, plays rook e1, and I play bishop e7, rook e1, castle, e4, and go back. Okay, this, this I haven't faced so much. Uh, now that he did this, I could actually consider playing for c5. B3 seems kind of strange. I think rook e1 is correct. Let me just see if the board is okay because it was cut off the other day. It's okay. So he needs to get in the e4 break straight away. And I wonder if I can play c5 now and then d4. Maybe not d4, but... c5 is risky because it weakens d5. I don't have c6. But it also makes my knight much better. So c5, bishop b2. Knight c6. If he plays c4, I play d4. If he plays e4, I play d4. So I think I'm going to go for that. It's slightly more committal than castling and playing c6. But I'm trying to find a way to punish b3. Maybe, maybe the whole conception is, is wrong. Maybe I should not be punishing b3. But if, if I can have a more active knight than his knight, then that's an achievement for black. I don't think this works because I attack his queen. So d takes, d takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. And on knight takes, yeah, this, this doesn't work because I have both knight c3 and knight c6 later on. See, he wants to move this knight away and attack the pawn here. This is a very strange pawn sacrifice. Does he have any checks he can throw in, like knight f6 or knight d6? Yes, he does. So I'm going to take here first. I don't want to risk any funny business with knight f6 because then the bishop is open. I don't really mind getting my bishop here. That's probably a better diagonal. 
So if he takes my queen, I'm fine. This is a very, very strange pawn sacrifice. I mean, there is some tactical justification in theory, but in practice, it doesn't work. Because I put my bishop on e4 and I just cover everything. Okay, uh, I will just retreat my bishop now. I don't think I, I have to rush. Now if he moves his knight, this is defended twice. Uh, now probably queen b6. Queen c7 runs into bishop f4. That's slightly annoying. So I'll play queen b6. Uh, over defending c6, so if he moves his knight, I don't have to worry about bishop c6, knight c6, knight c6, b6, ruining my pawn structure. If bishop b2, I can probably just castle. I don't think he can put pressure on me easily. Ah, uh, instead of instead of bishop c6 after queen e2, I think I should have played bishop f6 and then queen e4, bishop a1, queen b7, knight d7, and I'm a clear exchange up. Well, for a pawn, but yeah, I should have thrown bishop f6 in when I had the chance. Because now I don't have a chance to, to do it because he plays bishop b2. I still wonder if c5 was the correct strategic decision. I know that in some positions d4 can be annoying. I mean, what happens if, if he'd simply played c4? Then d4... What is this? What is this? He wants to move the knight without me trading the bishop. And if I play bishop f6, he plays knight e5. But then I have knight d7, so I'll do it. Bishop f6, knight e5, knight d7, knight d7, bishop d7. And then his rook is still hanging. And now I finally got my bishop to a perfect diagonal. Also, if knight e5... Ah, no, I don't have queen c7 because bishop b2. But a knight d7, bishop b2, I can take. He doesn't play that? Well now, I believe I just play knight d7. And he doesn't have knight e5. I did not consider this at all. I'm going to take it. 
So my knight is hanging, I have to defend it. I will defend it. I really don't think this works. I mean, I had to take, otherwise I'm completely lost. So let's see what his idea is. I, I did not consider this, but... And it's probably a mistake that I didn't consider it. But doing this was probably a mistake. I'm not saying it works, I'm saying I should have considered it, even if it doesn't work. I need to be aware of stuff like this. Okay, what does he want to do? He wants to play knight c4. So I will throw my queen in, uh, my rook in first with rook e8, just nudging his queen away. Okay. Now I will push his queen a bit further away. I feel that has to be correct. I have to watch out for bishop f4, but not yet. And I also have to watch out for knight c4 forking things now. So let's push the queen a bit further away. No, I, I should be a bit more careful at this point. Because I was planning to play queen b4 here. And on knight c4, I play rook e1, and that's mate. So yeah, I, I'm going to do it. And if he trades queens, I'm better. So... I mean, if he trades queens, I'm a piece up. Yeah, queen b4 is a very annoying move to face. After knight c4, I can also play queen e1, which is flashy. I don't have to do. Yeah, that's it. I mean, he played a really strange game. Uh, I don't see a defense. I mean, he has to trade queens. f3 is covered, h5 is covered. can play queen h3, I guess. Yeah, he could probably go queen h3. But then I just play bishop g5, does that work? I think it does work, because then I have queen d4. What happens if I take it? Obviously I don't take with the bishop because I hang mate. But what happens if I take with the rook? Or with the queen? Okay, I'll just take it with the queen because I don't see a refutation, so... I don't know what's going on in this game, this is just weird. Okay. This is really strange. Normally my opponents play better. My opponent is slightly lower rated than me, so... Okay, he resigns. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I mean... 
I don't think there's a lot to analyze here. Still, I, I want to analyze this part. After bishop e7, this position I know. And I'm used to rook e1 or queen e1 maybe, just trying to push uh, for, for e4. b3 I've never seen, but it seems that it's the most common move. And okay, someone has played c5. I mean, castling is normal and usually I do this and then when they push c4 or e4 I get my bishop away and then something pushes and I play c6 this is the setup I know this is the English slash Reti which I have faced a million times but c5 seems interesting and let's say he does play bishop b2 now I get in knight c6 can he still push Okay, so Grishchuk. Let's have a look at let's have a look at this later on. Why not take? Okay, yes, in this position G7 is hanging, so that works. Okay, and I'm just going to have a, a look at this game. This is Grishchuk Wesley So from 2018. So Wesley So is playing black, he played bishop h7 trade here this is pleasant for black I mean I have f6 to break the position open yeah but the center is just crumbling I guess on takes rook c2 is dangerous yeah Okay. Okay, so this is back to my game. Uh, why is the engine on? Why is the engine automatically on? I hate that. Okay, d takes e4. Since there's no bishop on b2, this doesn't work. He probably knew the pattern. Uh, after bishop b2. I think I played correctly. I don't know. This sacrifice is definitely unsound. Okay, I mean, I don't think I can learn a lot from this game, uh, but at least I've learned that in b3 setups I can play c5 and after e4 I play bishop h7. So this is, I, I faced one very strong Croatian player uh, both in in the Croatian league and in Zagreb Open in, in, in a variation such as this and once in the exact position, but I went for bishop f5, h6. Uh, and castles and c6 and he crushed me okay so I, I can learn something from this okay thanks for watching uh that's two wins in a row so i'm happy not that this was a very good game but still thanks uh, bye